good operating system i know like i believe that everyone know what is operating system it is an interface between a hardware and the user because user is a human and hardware is something which is which doesn't gel with always right so user go in his own way and hardware goes in his own way right whatever we speak we just say like uh, i take a hardware right and say hey what are you doing cannot respond right it doesn't understand what you speak a hardware cannot understand what a user speaks it just still it's just a hardware right it doesn't understand whatever you speak and whatever the hardware responses you cannot understand it is like two uh, people from two different countries are trying to speak right you just see like two prime ministers or presidents of two different countries they they will speak only they will be shown in the uh, screen but there will be one more person sitting here next to him one more person sitting here next to him right they will be translating what other person is speaking correct when xi jinping came to india right uh, you you thought that modi is speaking to him in uh, mandarin and uh, uh, xi jinping is speaking to modi in uh, hindi no not at all it's not possible right there is a person who was just translating the things to him right i forgot his name right um, a nice name uh, a person from tamil nadu i forgot his name right so he know like um, both the languages so he was translating the same way right when we communicate when we pass on something when we give some information uh, there should be a middleman to translate our information to the hardware and the hardware responses it should translate to the user in the same way right so that is called as your operating system that is the main work of operating system i'm not saying that is the only work of an operating system but yes operating system that this as well right so it gets the information from the user and pass it on to the hardware and makes the hardware to work and then get the information back from the hardware the desired result is thrown back to the user are you with me yes so can i get some thumbs up if you are okay if you are understanding just give me a thumbs up that's all people are on video like give me a thumbs up or virtually just give me a thumbs up as well i'll be happy that right good good thank you for that so next uh, this is what i said what is operating system and the architecture of operating system just now i said whatever i said that's the architecture right getting information passing it on getting it back and giving it back that's the architecture of operating system this is the general architecture of operating system the user whoever here right we find some user here this user give some information to the uh, so operating to the hardware they cannot do it uh, make the hardware to work rather they have to give it through the uh, softwares and the software this operating system will get this information and get it back to the uh, like give it to the hardware and the hardware will respond back whatever it responds it gives back to the user that's a two way communication uh, voice will be in between right it just bridging the gap uh, between the user and the hardware that's the main work of an operating system right so next working of operating system uh, the main work of operating system is memory management process management device management file management security system performance error detecting aids interacting between the application and the user these are the major work of any operating system right so uh, memory management yes it is uh, one important thing right that keeps your um, system to work right if if your memory is keeping keep it, it it's it's getting full right if your ram is full or if your cpu is getting full with all of work then what will happen your system will hang like to a certain extent in hang like after that it dies right so you cannot wake your laptop or system up when your ram is totally full right or your cpu is totally full everything is given lot of work then your memory management is poor then your ram will be full and then when your ram is full you cannot do any work okay good next is the process management yes any process that any work that is happening now here we are opening our uh, microsoft teams and it is running that's a process and who does it and where it is happening from who is running this process any process that runs from processor yes sir yeah yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir now it is visible okay yes, sir. good good okay okay thank you thank you thank yes, you So we'll we'll proceed further, right? Um, so there is a memory management that we already said, right? How the memory is managed between the RAM and the hard disk, right? And then if I want to uh, uh, manage the process, right? Anything which is there in the process, that's a CPU, right? So that need to be managed properly, or else your CPU will hang up and the program the anything that cannot work, right? 
So process need to be managed properly where at what time it should work, when it has to wait, when it has to be in ready, when it has to uh, run, when it has to execute. So after executing, after completion of process, it has to be terminated. It cannot still sit there. <laughs> once you once you use your, for example, there is a conference room in your office, right? You cannot use it always. You need to book it, go there, use the time given, and then you need to come back. If you're going to sit there, sleep there for the entire day, people will be waiting there. Others will be will get angry, right? So make sure that your process management, this will be taken care of by the operating system again. That's CPU, device management, the external devices, internal devices, all these devices are managed by uh, your operating system. File management, uh, I'm not going to talk my, much about file management and uh, device management in my uh, session now. Let me give you a brief uh, uh, thing about, I'll be detailed explaining about memory management and process management, but other things I'm going to give you what is what now. OK, got it? Everyone? Yes. Yes. OK, good. Yes. So yes, sir. file management, when I say file management, any file you take, right? You take a file and that file will be having a name. That has an extension. And it has some permission, whether it is a read file, write file, executable file, right? Um, uh, whether it is like accessible by me, accessible by others or a hidden file, all this information or the file, right? So every file will be having some information about it, right? Definitely it'll be having a name of the file, extension of the file, what type of application I can open this file with, right? That is very important. If I don't know which application opens this file, when you click, you it will not open by default. Then the size of the file, what is the size of the file? where it is stored, the location, right? The virtual location where it is getting stored, right? And then apart from that, uh, we also have the information about uh, when it is modified, when it is created, right? Last modification time, everything will be stored, right? Who owns it? Every information about the file. So that will be taken care by the file management. That we know security, we have a, a, a firewall uh, or an, uh, like a system security for Windows, everything is there in that. And then system performance, error detecting aids, right? All these things are the normal thing that every operating system will be having, right? Interaction between application and the user, that's the last one. And apart from that, we have many, many work that an operating system does, right? So since you already been from a engineering background that you already been into like work for some time. I'm not going to take much info, uh, give you like more detailed information because if you know this all things already. I'm just giving you a brush up. That's all. OK, that's all for today, guys. If you have any query, please let us know by commenting below. If you have any query, we will try to resolve it. Apart from it, you can follow us over multiple social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram as well as Google. Please keep your support with us by subscribing our channels along with your like, share and comment.